Welcome to a new segment of Credit Matters TV. My name is Luis Martinez, Senior Director in the Corporate Ratings Group. I am joined today by Juan Camilo Alvarez, who will discuss the downside risks for consumption in Mexico and the outlook for Mexican consumer product companies and retailers. Welcome, Juan Camilo. Welcome. So, Juan Camilo, it seems like the macroeconomic environment in Mexico is posing some downside risks for consumption for the remainder of 2017 and 2018. Can you give us uh, some color on that? Sure. We believe that consumption trends in Mexico face downside risks for the remaining of 2017 due to escalating inflation, rising interest rates, and exchange rate volatility. The recent increase in energy prices, including the liberalization of gasoline prices in January 2017, is probably the most inflation trigger for the escalation of inflation. And as of June 2017, the inflation rate reached 6.3% the highest in eight years. However, we believe that the increase in gasoline prices was a one-off adjustment, and we expect inflation to moderate, decreasing to 5.7% by year end. Also, in light of higher inflation, Mexico's central bank has been raising interest rates for several months, and these hikes represent a risk for consumer spending. However, if inflation normalizes during 2018, the central bank could start cutting rates next year. Okay, and what about exchange rate volatility? What's our view on that? It is true that during the first semester of 2017, the Mexican peso has been the best performing currency in emerging markets. However, the exchange rate as of July 2017 is still 12% weaker than its 2015 average level, the lowest in the past three years. And volatility, between November 2016 and July 2017 was 40% higher than in the entirety of 2015. Throughout the next few quarters, we don't discard the possibility of some additional peaks, which could lead to further consumer product price increases. And are there any factors that you think may contain those downside risks? Well, consumer credit, for example, should continue to grow at double digit in 2017 and 2018 supporting funding availability to consumers. Remittances from the U.S. are at historical highs, reaching 13.9 billion as of June of this year, which is 6% higher than the same period last year. Finally, the unemployment rate in Mexico is at its lowest level for the last seven years, reaching 3.4% on monthly average between January and June 2017. And from the portfolio of rated companies, uh, have we identified any specific initiatives to address some of the risks that companies face? Well, most of rated consumer products and retail companies have refinanced liabilities to extend their debt maturity profile, while others have reduced their exposure to U.S. dollar-denominated debt. We also expect rated issuers will make selective investment decisions in light of a higher cost of money and will focus on protecting margins and liquidity. More than 15% of the consumer product companies and retailers who rate are investment grade, while more than 75% of the ratings in the portfolio have a stable outlook. We think this is a good indication of our, of our favorable performance expectations in the next two years. Thank you, Juan Camilo. You can find our full report in our website, both in English and Spanish. Thank you for watching.